darling. Good morning. Good morning, darling. So I'm just for you. Oh, thanks. Buying for my birthday gifts. For you, I'll, I'll make it a surprise package. No, I don't want a surprise package. Why? I want it to a red chip. To a red chip? Yeah. Honey, do you know how much it costs? Oh, baby, you can afford it. Yes, I know I can. But this time, I don't think so. When you are aware of the losses I've been encountering these days. Listen, it's it's Tuareg, Jeep or nothing. That is what I want. that the medicine has lost its potency? What? Eddie! Eddie! Edwin! What is the meaning of all this? I've been smoking all since morning. My grandma. I lock up, I beg. What do you mean? Okay, I'm hungry. Have this is morning now. You mean you ate this morning? Did you even bother to call me? Must we live here together? Don't you know we are we are on duty? Oh, I'm sorry. 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 i you try to be fast too. I'll be fast. Yes, then. Don't let this girl escape. Oh. For where? You no, know, you know how much that's involved here. Ah! Then we don't ever. I can't mess it up! Crying. Go punish. Yes, I. I need some water. How many times will you, will you drink today? Make sure that you don't here.
My medicine had never, has not, and will never lose its efficacy. Woman, his wife is no longer your problem. Yes, she is not. Because the love he has for her is just like a love a man will have for a fowl. You don't have any problem. Yes, his daughter. That is where you have a problem. Yes. He loves her as his own soul. Baba, is there nothing you can do to save my marriage? What do you want? Baba, I want her dead. Yes, I want her dead. <laughs> 
Uh. Are you sure you want her dead? Yes, Baba. <clears throat> Woman, I suggest you take time to find out who she really is. Baba, I don't care to know who she is or who she wants to be. Oh, Baba, are you afraid to harm her? Not, woman. I. Afraid? I had never been afraid. I am not afraid. And I will never be afraid. A man receives two calls. One at lifetime and another at death. By the time I finish doing what I have to do, there will be no going back. Woman, do you still want her dead? Yes, Baba. I want her dead. <clears throat> <clears throat> More, you have had her. Yes, your request shall be granted. Thank you, Baba. Do you have anything that belongs to her? Clothes, picture, or whatever? As if I knew you would ask for it. I have a picture. Good. This is it, Baba. Drop it here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Two things are worth a being. Either he is alive or he is dead. Woman, I shall do what you want. Thank you, Baba. But her death will not be immediately. In seven days' time, you shall look for her, but will never find her. Why the delay, Baba? Mm. The delay is to enable you find out who she really is. Death is slow but steady. <laughs> sort of war, it is time again. <laughs> you have never disappointed me and I know you are going to deliver it again. Everything you have requested shall be provided. Go and accomplish the work for which you are sent. <laughs> Woman, each day that passes by, this sword goes closer to her soul. On the seventh day, the sword touches her picture. She will become a corpse. But before then, <laughs> before then, you should have found out. Baba, I don't understand. What are you talking about? <clears throat> Anyone that climbs a tree that is beyond his reach has no other place than the ground to fall on. <clears throat> A piece of cloth <laughs> that reveals the spirit to the living. Then the end. Didn't you see the man? Yes. <laughs> the mouth that consumes all that thing, they are dreadful. <laughs> Woman, take this piece.
Let no eyes see it. Let no eyes see it. Anytime you want my assistance, spread it on the wall. Break an egg on it. I, Ebenebenebuebenebe, will attend to you. Thank you, Baba. You may go now. Baba, thank you. Thank you, Baba. What you are battling is more difficult than you think. Baba, does it mean that this is beyond you? You that communicate with the spirit? <laughs> you have gone too far. You have sold your souls to the devil. How merciless he is when he is fighting a justified war. Baba, so what can you, what can, what can you do to help us? Do you owe him your allegiance? Yes. You owe him your allegiance. Your own blows are now your enemies because you swore by it. Baba, make no any like that. Is there, is there nothing you can do to help guys? I mean, anything, Baba, to, just to help us. Listen, my sons. Helping you is putting myself to an open confrontation with him. He is so powerful. So dangerous. So merciless, horrible and terrible in his own terrestrial. He is such a cruel spirit. He kills and eats his prey. And let me warn you. Your soul waiting for an appropriate hour to go down to the valley of doom. Marco can die like that, Baba. We can't do anything to avert it. Baba, anything. Baba, we're ready to give. Mm. Mm. There will be nothing much. Just to appease him, blood for blood. And both of you will be saved. You you mean human blood? Mm. Yes. Both of you have to go and get a newborn babies. And you have to act fast. Take a look at this sword hanging in the air. Can you see it? Yes, yes Baba. There is a picture of a young pretty lady under this piece of cloth which was brought here by her stepmother. The lady's life has been programmed that each day that passes by takes her closer to her grave. And such fate is waiting both of you if you don't act fast. Blood of newborn babies? Yes. You may go now and get the newborn babies. <laughs> okay. Okay, Baba. Thank you, Baba. Thank you. Ella, thank God she did not escape yesterday. Do you know she would have gotten me into big trouble? Got into trouble? She would have gotten us into trouble. In fact, kudos to that. To five million naira. To five million naira. 
I think I want to use myself, okay? I think I need my own share now. Come on, guy. Don't rush me, eh? I will give it to you. Give him more. <laughs> no problem.
Woman, why are you disturbing me? Baba. Baba, I am tired. Baba, I am tired of everything. I want my stepdaughter dead. I want her to die. <laughs> I want you to take time to find out who she is. <laughs> she is your daughter. Yes. What? Yes. My and daughter? there is nothing anybody could do to save her. No. I asked you and you said you wanted her dead. Mm -hmm. Just a few hours from now, <laughs> she will die. No, Baba. Baba, please. She must not die. There is nothing to be done Baba, to save please. her. Nothing. Baba, please, I beg you. Save she Baba. must have to die. Baba, save her. You. Oh, Baba, please. Please, I beg you. Mbumbo Otisa spirit says you have just one option. Yes. You have to choose between the baby boy in your womb and her. Uh -huh. One must have to die because both are your blood. Oh, Baba, Adrian married me because of this baby in my womb. I can't afford to lose this baby. Baba, please. Woman. Oh, God. Make haste and take a decision. Please, Baba, please. You are running out of time. Oh, God, Baba. Okay. Baba. You can take her. But, Baba. Baba, please. Just tell us him. And where's she crying, babe? She's my girlfriend, don't worry. Why are you crying? Baby, why are you? What's up? They want to kill me. Who, who wants to kill you? Who? Talk to me. The knife is already on me. What, what are you talking about? What knife? Talk to me. My stepmother. She took my picture to the native doctor. Kolo. I just have a few hours to live. Kulu, destroy, destroy. Yes. Yes, the shrine. My God. Shrine. You know what? You know what? You, you have to, you know. Why don't you just go with him, okay? Stay yeah. here. Stay here. Ben's gonna take care of you. Sure, sure, girl. You're safe here, girl. Yes. Relax, yeah? Okay. Just relax. You'll be relax. safe here. All right? If you wanna come no, no, no. Just stay here. Ben's gonna take care of you, okay? We'll be back soon. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Guys, I'm coming. man runs when no one is pursuing him. 
<laughs> yes. Where are the babies? There are no babies. What? Why then are you here? You should have told us you get at the moon. The girl in that picture is my fiance. <laughs> she is about to die. And so what? Let her go. What? Let her go! Never! She is a lawful captive. And no power. Not even the dreadest demon in hell shall get half free from my hand. Good dog, good night. But, but we are not members of the Jago. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Jago Mutu Mutu Magata! See her alive. You know where to come. You have only 12 hours to meet her. Claude, what do you do? Shit. I have no choice, man. I have to go for her. I'll come with you, Colo. No, my man, you've done enough. You have been there for no. me as a friend. Man. No! This is my cross. Let me no, carry it alone now. Hello, Colo. That's the only body I have. Your pen is my pen. I enjoy it's my joy. We'll do it together. Let's go. Let's go.
that was a terrific performance, I must say. Good to have both of you back. Many waters can't quench love, neither can floods drown it. That I know. Marco, I can understand uh, Columbus' madness. It's natural. What of yours? Why? You castrated bastard. You lured us into this mess. You want us to be killing for money. And where is the joy? Mr. Bazooka, the hottest place in hell should be reserved for a beast like you. I only owe you just a bullet. A bitch. <laughs> we all meet in hell. <laughs> bastard you are. Marco, Marco. Ah, bastard. Marco, I wish I could grant you the luxury of not dying a painful death. You bastard. Bastard. <laughs> Colombo. I ought to have meted the same punishment out to you, but I still have need of you. Even though your gods can be very funny at times, your friend is no more. You must continue from where he stopped by making sure that that woman is dead in the next 12 hours. Understood? I can't do that. She's the mother of the girl I want to marry. I can't! I think my greatest weakness is that I'm too generous towards you. Possibly because I was the one that raised you. When you were growing up, you were obedient and promising. I loved you with so much passion like a father would love his son. I even groomed you so that you can take over from me when I'm dead. But you have refused to reciprocate this single gesture. Now you have just one more opportunity to do that or else I can afford to detain her while you do, do carry out your assignment. But I'm also willing to let her go with you. You go home, freshen up, and I'll come meet you there later, okay? Thank you. No. But don't tell her that, okay? I have one or two things to do in town, and I'll come meet you. Let's go. Hello. Assassins came and attacked me. And then I was rushed to the hospital. So 
though she was right. You see, the injury affected your wound. I'm afraid you cannot conceive again. Doctor, it's not possible. It can't be possible. What are you saying? That I won't be able to, to get pregnant again. What are you talking about? Take it easy. What are you saying, Doctor? Is there nothing you can do to help me? There is nothing I can do about this. Absolutely nothing. Please do not take away your life just because of this, okay? But I, I have an idea. Yes, I have an idea. Five months later, she was delivered of a baby girl. My joy knew no bounds when Dr. Macaulay brought you into my arms. I paid her 350,000 naira, including all the expenses that was incurred. Cynthia, I have always loved you. And I will never stop loving you. Where is she? Where is my mother? Your mother? Yes. Stella. The woman I thought was my stepmother. It's my mom. Stella? Wait a minute. Stella is your mother? How? I heard her talking with a native doctor about me being her daughter. Whoever paid us five million to kill you must be rich. And I think it's the same person that killed my father and also wants me dead. Five million to kill me? Who on earth can that be? I don't know. But this much I do know. That person must be very close to our family. I'll be right back. Where are you going? I want to find out who killed my father. And who also wants both of us dead. That can be very dangerous, please. I can't afford to lose you now, Victor. Please, I can't no. afford to lose you. No, you... No, oh, you will not lose me. I promise you.
Where am I? Don't worry, Marco. You even know my name. Who are you? I am the daughter of Kupuna. Your friend, Kulumbo, you must look for his stepfather. And how do I do that? Don't worry, Marco. I will help you. And I will go with you. Rise. <laughs> Paco leaves. <laughs> As you can see, you can see the engine. Very new, brand engine. It has a good, nice chunk of saba. Let me see that. Okay. Very good chunk of saba. And factory fitted this is made for chiefs like you. This guy is very nice. It can last very long. Chunk of saba. Very new chunk of saba. Ah, chief, chief. Oh, brother. Good day, chief. What are you doing here? Oh, no, chief, I'm just passing. I saw your car parking here. Oh, chief, it's like you want to add one to your car. You see, these days I don't know if I have become a car freak or cars have become freak of me. Oh, Chief, I know you. Uh, but then, Chief, yeah. I heard you are preparing for your daughter's wedding. I uh, didn't bother to tell me. That's true, but I, I apologize anyway. But we have not fixed the date. But when we fix the date and the IVs are out, you will be the first to get it. Oh, that's Paris. good. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I thought you were supposed to travel to Germany last week. But that's true, Chief. That's true, Chief. Uh, you know, because of this uh, global economic problem, Chief, you know, I'm sick of that. Anyway, anyway. Well, I'll give you the opportunity of knowing for the first, uh, being the first to know. Hmm? Next week, I'll be moving into my house, and um, I'll be leaving from here to the place right now. So that's where we're going to do the wedding. So we can shake our butt. Oh, I know what we can do, Chief. <laughs> I promise I'll be there. No problem, no problem. Huh? You're highly welcome there. Yeah. Ah, so, young man. Uh, yeah, we'll 3.5 million. Uh, 3. Uh, 3. I, I guarantee you, it's a good quality. Chief, give me three. If you know, I can give you something that you will enjoy. This is very nice car. All right, I'll take it. Park on the right hand side, directly opposite this gate. Okay. There, yes. Here. The bottom. Colombo consistently defied my orders. Otherwise, he would have been the person to do this business. Be that it is may go and call Apostle for me. And I'm sure he's not going to try any funny thing with me, otherwise he'll go the same way. Now you leave. It's okay. Make it a jiffy. Sure.
was a problem. Apostle is dead. What? Apostle dead? I found this letter by his side. No, this is impossible. Marco is alive. This is impossible. Shit. Marco lives. Marco! But you are dead! No, Bazooka, you are the dead person. Marco! Are you born to? For the kitchen. Oh, that. That will be taken care of today. The painter will be here, but it will be by tomorrow before we paint it. But I assure you, we shall meet your deadline. It's okay. Um, go and get those things inside the box. That's. Oh, let me get them. Alright, go get them. Now, I don't want to talk about it. Now, get out of my, 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 my compound right now before I call the police. Now! This is a gun. Oh, you know it. Please. Please don't kill me, please. James. That's not money. Five million dollars. <laughs> Huge pay, man. <laughs> you mean you kept 125 million naira for that little boy of six years? Is something wrong with you? My brother is greed, greed. But, but, but don't kill me. You see, you are a young man and you can have the whole of this house. My car is parked outside. Take it, take it. Go to hell with your properties. I only need your soul. Please don't kill me, please. Please. Oh. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, come. Take them. 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 Take them.